Welcome back to Robert Lloyd, where I give you the ins and out of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today, people, today, I want to show you guys how to do this really super simple t-shirt design that has been popping up all over the place. I've seen American Eagle do it. I've seen Victoria's Secrets Pink do it. I've even seen Forever 21 do it and just so many different other places. So you guys, I want to show you guys how to make this in Illustrator. This is a very valuable tutorial. So if you guys like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and I just won you over, please go ahead and subscribe to me. You're really helping me out. I want to formally welcome you to my channel. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So you guys, this design style is a 2016 design style. I'm not 100% sure if it came out of 2016, but I definitely know it became popular in 2016. And one of the reasons why it became popular is because memes became popular. And the idea of using this shirt as a way to emphasize a message or using it to emphasize a meme was one of the reasons why this shirt became what it was. Essentially, this design trend is following a bunch of trends and it reaps the benefits if you market it to the right people. And it's really super simple to make, actually, when you really think about it. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one on this new layer. And you guys, if you wanna buy this one, you can go ahead and buy it off my website. I'll have that link in the description below. But I'm gonna go ahead and start this new layer over here on my second artboard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the type tool and I'm gonna go ahead and type in loyal. So one thing about this design style is that it's heavily reliant on like fonts. So you have to have a good font. I like to use Futura Bold. It's just giving me that natural shape that I love so much. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and make copies of this. And the way that I'm gonna make copies is holding Alt, clicking and dragging out. I'm gonna do it three times. Well, I'm gonna do it one more time. So now we have our text three times. So to get this effect right here, you have to go in and cut this and it's not that hard to do actually you want to just get the rectangle tool right here and just kind of put it in the spot where you feel like it's going to be good enough to cut i like to just get it to where like it's a horizon and i'm gonna go ahead and take the shape builder tool so i know a lot of people have been talking about the pathfinder but the shape builder tool is pretty awesome if you hold down alt with the shape builder tool you can delete things out as a matter of fact everything that's in there everything that's in this box that's overlaying each other can be deleted out if i delete this now even this stuff here can still be deleted out so i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here this out of here just so we can get it like that right and i'm gonna take this second loyal and then come up like this and do it again essentially So like I said, you go to the Shape Builder tool, you go ahead and hold Alt and Option, and you just kind of like get it out of there. And then with this final one, you just kind of drag it up, and there it is right there. So we have this effect going, and I feel like this is kind of off a little bit, so let me go ahead and just bring this down some like right here. So you guys, now that I got this out the way, I just want to put in a small little message right here that I kind of just came up with on the fly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that is it for this design right now. I want to do some different stuff to it, but if this is all you guys want to learn how to do, then that's pretty much it. You have to get a font, one that's kind of bold enough to do this, then you turn it into an outline, and then use the rectangle tool with the shape builder to knock out those parts of the design that you didn't want, and you just do it to your liking. Like, you do it as many times to your liking to get that effect. Once you have that, you're pretty much done. I like to do this right here because that just adds a little extra layer of design to this actual design style, but that's pretty much it. Like, if that's what you wanted to learn, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, I'm gonna go into Photoshop, and I'll meet you guys there while I'm gonna do some extra stuff to this. Now you guys, there's a plethora of things that you can do here in Photoshop. I think this is going to look pretty awesome. 
I'm gonna go ahead and texture this one first. So I'm gonna go to my textures and my finders and bring in a cooler texture real quick. So give me a sec. So the first texture that I'm gonna bring in is a dust texture. So I'm just gonna bring that up right here like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the dust in my layers and I'm gonna go ahead and clip it to this actual vector object. And this is what we get. So if I go to the bottom of my palette and I pull up a solid color in white, of course, and bring that to the bottom, this is what we're gonna get on a t-shirt. Pretty awesome, right? So the second texture that I wanna bring in is this coffee stain. And I wanna put that over here in the always, over in this region over here. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it over here like this, like so, hit okay. The first thing that I have to do is pretty much mess with the blend if, so I can get rid of this white outline. And I'm gonna do some other things with it as well, but I wanna get this out first. So I'm gonna right click here and then go to blend options. Over here in blend if, if I go ahead and hold alt and move this slider over, it's gonna take away the white. And if I move the white away, it's gonna take away the stuff that's not on the actual design, as you can see. And I think that's looking good, actually. So that's just one thing that you can do outside of just typing out loyal a couple of thousand times and then putting your always like there or putting in your design like that. That's just one thing that you can do. Now, there's some more stuff that you can do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. I think that's pretty much it for me. And like I said, I'm going to put it on my shop so you guys can buy it. Let me turn off the color field so you can see what this looks like. Okay. Nothing is showing in the background. Everything is pretty much on this design. And that's exactly what you guys want going forward. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys like this one. This was very informative. If you're new to my channel and I won you over, like I said in the beginning, please go ahead and subscribe. Welcome to my channel. I do this all the time, okay? So this is not something that you're going to see one time and never see again. If you want to learn some more stuff, go ahead and look through my videos. There's a lot of stuff up there, a lot of value that you can use on your own t-shirt shop. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.